2,500 miles away from where I live and just pull up to the dumpster. And I was like, there's a homeless person. I'm going to go talk to him. And he's digging through the dumpster like, you know, a homeless person does. And uh, the first thing he does is he smashes this thing. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, like this is exactly what's happening here because that's me. I mean, that's me <laughs> picking up a vacuum cleaner and just smashing. That's me. And I'm like, wow. But that's not even the end of it. It's just the start. And so dude starts talking to me and he starts showing me stuff. Like he's educating me. You know, this dude digging through a dumpster starts educating me. And this is what I'm looking for. And shortly after, he begins to show me. See, when I was in Columbus, Ohio, I went to probably the world's best and largest uh, MMA training. It wasn't just MMA. It was MMA, boxing, judo, uh, taekwondo. Or I don't think they had taekwondo. Um, Krav Maga, um, uh, Muay Thai is one of the things I was taking there, and um, Jiu Jitsu, okay, and, and probably more stuff I'm not even thinking of right now. Um, so it was like the biggest place, so I came from like the biggest place. Anyways, my teacher was teaching me how to meet people, like the last thing he taught me, like I paid cash, I paid good cash, you know, to see these, this dude, like I was living in my car and spending my money going to, uh, to trying to like do something with my life. And, um, uh, so all my money was going towards gyms and gas and food and, uh, all that crap. So anyways, but he was teaching me the last thing he was teaching me. He was real fast, man. Little like Irish dude. Like, and he had like everyone there had like stuff under their shouldn't spend this whole time talking about running and training center but um he was just like like he was here and then he was there and you didn't really like see it and that was the end of it so he was like trying to teach us the knee thing and he was here and he was there with a the knee in you right and so he was like teaching you know you gotta pull them you gotta pull them down into your knee okay and that's really the last thing he was teaching me before I left, I left because the COVID thing shut down all the MMA tournaments and I had no way of making money. It shut down the security and I had just got a job security and just lost that job and definitely no more openings because everything's closed. Uh, no, no need for security at events if there's no events. And um, so this homeless dude, like I drive up to him and I'm like, hey, uh, I, like I'm letting him talk. I let other people talk to him, and he's he he goes into this. He's like he he's like when you grab him by the shoulders, you grab grab him like a bird. He's he's like see look at look at the humans like we're birds. We have like a bird structure here, and he's he's going. He's like you know pretty much like showing like a, how a raven or any bird an eagle sings its claws into you, and he's like and then you pull him down into the knee. You grab him, and and the power comes from pulling. You see, my uh, my teacher was focusing on that direct thing too. He was he was also saying you got to pull him down into it. Now I've been to a lot of different trainers, and I've seen a lot of videos, and I've never been taught this direct thing except for by that trainer in men out here. And you know, at the same time, there's a car over here who starts honking at me. One of the white cars. One of the cars. White cars were following me for a long time, thousands of miles. At first, they weren't white, but then they were. And and they like let me know. They let me know they were there too. Like they they literally had a license plate talking and saying there's so many of us. And I post some video of this. And I've seen this again and again where I'm at right now. Um, I the neighbor came and talked to me, and then the neighbor. Um, I, I'm like talking to the neighbor and I'm and I just happen to be t I'm telling him about some of this stuff I'm telling him about this exact thing and I'm telling him like how you know like I'm he's like what are you like autistic or something and I'm like dude I don't know like really I don't live in this world this world seems real this is fake there's something else going on here like I'm something else like they never label me they label me whatever they want they give me whatever whatever they got to sell uh, you know so every four years I'm a new crazy, like, I'm sure any of you guys have followed me for the past, for any year before 2020, like, you didn't think there was anything wrong with me, because I guess I'm, the part of me that's wrong with me is, like, pretty hidden, it, it's got nothing to do with this, this is, like, the part of me that, that works, seeing this stuff, this is the part of me that works, 
processes equations well, at least equations, right? It's not very good with time. It's not the best. 100,000% best with timing. It's not 100,000% best with social interaction. I'm not trained in social interaction. I'm trained in books and learning and stuff like that. Um, they, they, those skills were sacrificed for the other skills to be there. And somehow I was born differently. And so it just works that way. And um, so um, he's like, uh, he's like, like after we talked for a minute, he's like, "Wait, you're autistic or something?" And it's because I I was telling him this little story and stuff like that. But you know what happens? He like takes me out here to this tree where he's got a fort already. It's already up there. It's already nailed up in the tree. It's not quite a fort. It's just a piece of wood. It's like way up at the top of the tree. Maybe who knows? Maybe uh, he said we got a. 40, 50 feet before I said, I don't, I'm, I'm like worried because I didn't know him. I didn't want to climb to the top of the tree with someone I didn't know. And um, what's been going on? Like, I, I'm never going to trust anyone ever again. Like, no, that that's it. Like, it's over. Like, I do not, until like this world starts showing me exactly what's going on and explaining why the bullshit all happened, then, um, no, but anyways, um, so anyways, it got to the point where I'm like, hold on, we got a little beep beep, who cares what it is, uh, anyways, so he takes me up there, and, and what I'm learning from the tree is the same martial arts shit, it, not the same, but I'm learning the martial arts shit, so the tree is the perfect alignment for a a shaft for limb manipulation and Shaolin dummy. So I'm like climbing the tree like a maniac and stuff. I'm like, wah, 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 wah. And I'm like, you know, practicing Kung Fu on the tree and everything and stuff. And it, it probably looks like I'm, I've climbed trees before. And oh, honestly, it, I don't remember if I did that when I was a kid. And I probably didn't climb that high. I jumped off roofs when I was a kid. Don't remember climbing trees that high. But, um, yeah. So that happened. And, and you know what else? I'm also positioned right now in the center of a, a pyramid, a triangle. And we have the numbers 33 over here. We have the numbers 27. And um, like the, that tree was at one corner of the pyramid. And then um, the other corner, the tip of the pyramid technically would be the entrance to where I'm at. And um, the other edge of the pyramid pretty much is where the one three street and the other three street is and i've been seeing this stuff all all over the place like i've been seeing a lot of crazy stuff man um like i've turned on my videos and stuff and and there's been stuff that sometimes is just posted supposedly just created and it's answering questions that i've just asked directly to me and they, I'm not making stuff up here okay you guys yeah I mean this I mean this world been been crazy I mean, I'm, you wouldn't believe my life if I just told you how I was a riffraff like you would think I don't know back in the day people didn't believe us because we was riffraffs of the highest order and the only people who thought we was riffraffs of the highest order <laughs> probably was the local fire department who thought I was blowing up high-rise buildings, which, I mean, I wasn't. I'm not necessarily interested in 